we read about how the clinging aggregates are suffering. And so our first reaction is we want to get rid of them. But it doesn't work. Remember the Buddha's statement about how our duty with regard to them is to comprehend them. You get rid of craving. But with the clinging aggregates, you've got to know them, really understand them, to the point where there's no more passion, no more aversion, no more delusion around them. And the delusion is a big problem. You don't know them well. So how do you get to know them? Think about a John Lee's comment. He said many times that the aggregates are like borrowed goods. You don't just throw borrowed goods away. You have to return them to their owner. And you have to return them in good shape. And in the meantime, if you're wise, you get some good use out of them. So how do you get use out of the aggregates? You turn them into the path. The fact that you're sitting here focusing on the breath right now, that's form. It's one of the elements in the body. And there's feeling. There may be pains here and there in the body, but you're trying to create a feeling of ease, a feeling of well-being, which can sometimes get so intense that it qualifies as rapture. You're holding perception in mind. When the breath comes in, how does it come in? What's the route in the body? And when you think about the breath energy, how does that relate to the in and out breath? How many levels of breath energy are there in the body? And John Lee has many different analyses that they're at the different levels. How do you analyze them? What's your experience of the breath? And when you perceive it in a certain way, what does that do to the breath? What are the best perceptions? Or when you're sick, what are the best perceptions for when you're tired? Or when you're nervous, upset? How do you perceive the breath in a way that helps? And there's fabrication, the verbal fabrication, direct thought and evaluation, and just the underlying intention, even in the higher levels of concentration, the intention to stay here, to stick with one object. And then there's consciousness, the awareness of all these things. You're using the aggregates to make them a path, to turn them into concentration. You use them as you develop discernment as well. Because what is discernment? Directed thought and evaluation, perceptions. Different kinds of perceptions and fabrication, basically. So you want to get some comprehension out of the aggregates. Think of it, the duty in those terms. Not so much you're just comprehending them. You're getting some comprehension out of them, understanding how the mind creates suffering for itself, and seeing how it doesn't have to. When you realize it doesn't have to, that's when you've gotten good use out of the aggregates. So the borrowed goods, you moved in on them when you took birth. You wanted this form, and you were hoping for feelings of pleasure. After all, the human realm is one that's one of the more pleasurable ones. And you probably came in with some perceptions about what kind of pleasures you wanted, and you had some plans. And you moved right in. And you didn't ask permission. And 
And then you get upset when the advocates don't do everything you want. When you look at the fine print of the contract, you realize that they never signed the contract. But here you are. And John Lee talks about the karmic debts we incur just through having a body. A lot of his talks have to do with all the animals whose flesh we've eaten. And even if you're vegetarian, you've got karmic debts to your parents. Karmic debts to all the people who've had to make sacrifices so that you could survive and have a measure of well-being. So you've got to pay them back. You pay them back, again, by doing good things with the aggregates. Not just meditating, but all the good things you can do with the body. All the good things you can do with your intentions. So don't be in too great a hurry to say, well, they're in constant stressful, not self. I want to be rid of them. This morning someone asked me how to sit down and meditate and anticipate that you're going to gain insight into not-self during the meditation. And I told him, you don't anticipate that. What you anticipate is looking at what you're making out of your aggregates and seeing where you're doing it without skill. And how you can be more skillful about it. That's when you're gaining some comprehension out of the aggregates. Anything that's unskillful, you let it go, but you hold on to skillful things. There's a skill to letting go. You're not going to comprehend the aggregates until you've made something good out of them. So you do your best to make something good. And you treat them well because you need them to practice. Someone once came to John Lee and asked him a question. His friends are making fun of him. They found out that he was practicing the Dharma, and they were not. And they say, so, the Dharma says that your body is not self. Why won't you let us hit it? And he didn't know how to respond. And then John Lee said, look, it's borrowed goods. I have to give it back in good shape. And it wasn't just a clever, quick answer. You want to make something good out of these aggregates. After all, you've borrowed them. You're in debt to somebody. So you try to get the noble attainments out of them. And at the very least, get the noble path. That way you've profited from them. And when you send them back, everybody's happier. You put them down, not because you don't like them, but because you've got something better and something that doesn't require clinging. With the aggregates, you have to look after them. If you're going to feed on them, you have to feed them. Remember that image of the aggregates that they chew on you. even as you're feeding on them. When you finally get some of the noble attainments out of them, okay, you don't feed on them, they don't have to feed on you. Everybody's a lot happier. A lot happier and a lot better off. So think of a John Lee's image of the the wound. We've got a wound here, having this body, having these aggregates. You don't just let it go. You clean it, you put medicine in, you cover it up, and eventually it's going to heal. Then you can think about not having to look after it anymore. 
in the same way. You, you've got these aggregates. You're going to have to look after them as long as you're, as long as you don't have anything better to hold on to, or anything better at all. But when you take good care of them, they'll deliver you to a good place. Then you can let them go. And everybody's happier all around. <laughs>